Welcome to the Continuing Education Department's Credit Course Registration Form for non-TCDSB students. If you're interested in registering for any of our courses for night school, Saturday school, summer school, or online e-class courses, you must create an account or use your existing password uh, from a previous uh, night school, summer school, or Saturday school registration. If you haven't actually created an account with us or this is your first time registering for a course, you'll need to create an account with us. This account will be used to uh, keep track of your registration information and it will also be used uh, for you to check uh, and reprint any registration forms that you may need to submit in the future. Now with our registration form it works best in Internet Explorer 8. If you're using Internet Explorer 9 there may be some compatibility issues. Um, if you are experiencing any compatibility issues just run this website in compatibility mode. So this particular website will ask you to enter all your personal information. Uh, keep in mind that your email address that you enter here uh, will be used as your user ID. So uh, any of that information can be used at that point. So entering your birthday, please make sure that when you do press the calendar, uh, you do select the proper year from the drop-down menu. Uh, by default, it will be 2011. This birthday will be used to calculate your age. Uh, depending on your age, the program will require you to enter an OEN number, which stands for Ontario Education Number. This Ontario Education Number can be found on your transcript and credit counseling summary. If you are not a Canadian citizen, if you are a visa student, you will be required to pay additional fees. And in order to pay these additional fees, you must set up an appointment with our Continuing Education Office. If you are an adult, age of 25 years of age or older, uh, you will not be required to enter an Ontario Education Number, in which case it can be left blank. On the second half of the form, you'll be required to enter your home address. This home address can be changed uh, any period, at any period during the registration process and can be modified at a later point. Uh, these addresses that are entered in the street field will actually cross-reference with Canada Post. So if there is uh, an error or if you're living on a street that's brand new, uh, your address may not appear there. If you do have a problem with the address, please contact us. It's important to put an emergency phone number just in case your regular home phone is not operational. Uh, we strongly suggest that students do not use their mobile phone as mobile phones can be disconnected at any point in time. The home phone number will be used to contact you in case of any changes in registration or any problems at your night school, Saturday school, summer school, or online e-class programs. Before you continue, you'll be asked to put in a password reset option. You can select any type of um, hint that you'd like to put in for your password reset. This will be useful in case you uh, forget your password. And uh, we also have other ways of retrieving a password as well, uh, which will be sent to your e email address that you have specified. In order for your registration to go through, uh, you must put in the word verification and just type it in as you see it. If you do have difficulties reading this, just reload the form and it will generate a new word verification word. Once you are ready to continue, just press the register button. If there are any problems in the form, it will actually come up at this time. Once the information has been accepted, you will get a screen that looks like so. Uh, at this point, you should check your email address. Please be sure to check your spam or junk mailbox as the email may, may be considered a spam depending on your service provider. If you're using Hotmail um, or Gmail, uh, you'll find it under your junk email settings. Once you receive the email, uh, it will look very similar to as shown on the screen. You'll receive a password which is located right here, your password. This password is set by our system. You will not be allowed to actually change this password. So therefore, you should save this email uh, in a secure location so that you can always use this, this username and password to register for any of our programs. The system will be in place for any night school, summer school, Saturday school, or online e-class program. 
once you have copied this, we suggest that you can either write this down or just press Control C on your keyboard and you can log in by using the link at the bottom. You must use this link in order to activate your account. In order to register for a course, you have to log back into our system using the user ID that's been provided to you and the password provided to you in the email. So your username will be your email address that you've provided us and your password will be provided by the system. If you did use the control copy feature uh, or control C, you can just simply paste your password in or if you did jot it down, you can write it in at this time. And then you can just press sign in. If at any point you happen to forget your password, you can use the forget your password link to uh, recall any of your uh, secret questions or it could be sent to your email address for you to reset it. At this point you'll be asked uh, if you do accept our terms which is our acceptable use policy. Uh, you must read this. Uh, you may agree or disagree at this point. Once you have logged in you'll have an opportunity to revise any of the information you have provided us. You can do this by pressing the update profile button and press the save and submit button. Once you have pressed the non-TCSB registration button on the right hand side of the screen, you'll be taken to our course registration page. This course registration page again outlines your personal information and it also outlines your current day school board and current day school. Please ensure that this information is correct. Again, if you are an adult, and over the age of 25, it will put automatically the words other for you in those two boxes. Otherwise, uh, ensure that you do have the proper school that you're attending or previously attended. Under the continuing education information, you will see a night school, Saturday school um, little drop down menu. And in this drop down menu, you can select the night school location or the e class online program uh, for you to select and take a course under. If you're not sure what course you're taking or what night school locations do offer a particular course, just take a look at our main website or take a look at our cur current course flyer, which will outline all the course offerings that we, we're, that we have across the system. In this particular example, I'm going to register for an online e-class course. And keep in mind, if you do wish to register for more than one program, for example, two night school locations or one night school and one e-class e program, you will have to fill out a second registration form for that particular course. This particular registration form is only for this one school. So at this particular school I'm going to register for ENG for you and if there is a course that you're looking for uh, and it doesn't appear on the drop down menu but you've seen it on our on our website or our course flyer just send us a quick email and we will gladly uh, take a look at our system to see if uh, either the course has been cancelled or if it just happens to be missing uh, from the list so send us a quick email if you don't see it so I'm just going to drop down and just pick ENG for you once you've selected ENG for you the page will refresh so that uh, you are required to select prerequisites for the course uh, and if you're not sure what your prerequisites are, take a look at your credit counseling summary or your transcript. And when you press the drop down menu, it will give you a list of acceptable prerequisites depending on the new credit course that you have selected. So in this case, ENG 3U is the prerequisite for ENG 4U. If there is another prerequisite that you're trying to use, you must check with your, your um, guidance counselor to make sure that you are able to use that prerequisite for a particular course. You must also put in the final mark that you have attained in that course. And again, if you're not sure what your final mark is, let's say you just, pre you just recently took the course and final marks aren't uh, published as of yet, put in your estimated mark. And when you hand in your paperwork, we will gladly update that information for you when you register in person. The other thing you should do is input an alternate choice and your alternate choice will be used in case your primary course or your first choice is either cancelled or full. Sometimes our courses do fill up very quickly and in order to accommodate you we will put you in an alternate course uh, if you actually selected one. So in most of our programs we highly recommend this. So select a course that would be um, acceptable to you and again if there is no prerequisite for the course you will see that the 
drop-down box for prerequisite will disappear. Once you are happy with your selection, scroll down to the bottom and click on Next. This screen presents you your registration form. Before you confirm and print it, just take, have one last look. Make sure the night school or Saturday school or online program has been selected and the appropriate course that you wish to enroll in has also been selected. If you are not happy with the selection, you may cancel it at this point. And if you want to make changes, you may do so by pressing the edit button. Otherwise, press the confirm and print. You should be connected to a printer and have the ability to print the registration form. This form is required as part of your registration package. And you can just click on the button to press uh, to print the, the actual form. You may also print this form at a later time as well by using your email address and re-logging into the system and pressing confirm and print once again. Once you have pressed the print and confirm link, you'll be sent another email which will give you another opportunity to modify your request, print your registration form, or delete your registration request. Keep in mind that this first email is just an acknowledgement that the system has accepted your registration request. This is not an acceptance email. At a later point, you will receive an acceptance email should we have space in the course or if the course has not been cancelled. You may check our website at the appropriate time to determine whether or not your course has been filled or if it has been cancelled. Please keep this email should you have to change any part of your registration or if you do need to contact us. Again, contact us by pressing the continuing education mail link at the bottom of the screen and you may also contact us via the phone by clicking on contact us through our website. And this concludes our registration video.